Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. Just want to thank everyone who's liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. It does help the channel to grow. Press the like button if you um, like the video, please. And if you want to subscribe, just press the bell to the right. Okay, and you'll get notifications. All right, we're going to do Scorpio. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. Okay. You know, um, there's a song going through my head, Scorpio. I don't know if it relates to you or not, but the song is um, He Ain't Heavy, He's My Brother, um, which may relate to somebody, okay? All right, we have the Lovers card that just flew out. The Ace of Swords. The Four of Swords. I don't really want to call the cards out. I just want to get the readings started. Okay. glasses somewhere. All right, Scorpio. Um, you may have gone through some sort of heavy burden that you felt that you had to turn your back on. I kind of feel like, you know, you had a connection with somebody that was very strong and you may have found out this person had other options. Um, or they had another option, either way. All right, so I kind of feel that, you know, you really love this person and, you know, you you started to see some truth in the matter when it came to this person. Um, you felt that they were hiding things from you, um, but... Hmm. Yeah, you felt this person was hiding something from you. Now, there's either two things they're hiding from you, Scorpio, is that um, they can't reveal their feelings towards you. And the other thing that they're hiding from you is there may have been a third party. There may have been another person or maybe another two people here, you know, by the looks of things. All right, so you were hoping for a passionate new beginning, but instead you've got a lot of mental conflict. Or this person, um, you know, who was maybe once consistent with you, decided that they were not consistent with you anymore and they may have been communicating with somebody else, Scorpio, okay? I do feel that you felt left out in the cold in this situation, you know, but you decided to take a path. Things were illuminated to you. Um, you know, and I kind of feel that, like, there may have been some sort of manipulation that was going on, Scorpio, okay? But I feel like one of you, I don't know whether it was you or the other person, reached out and, um, you know, wanted to heal this situation and you were manifesting this person to either come back or they were manifesting you to come back, okay? Um, but at the same time, you, you feel that, they repeated a pattern with you. They, um, you know, you ended it, you transformed. You weren't going to go through repeated patterns anymore. There was a tell moment that came in between you. And I think you just went and focused on your finances, your success, you know, like focus on yourself, okay? Mm. Uh, this person was a little bit promiscuous. Mm. But in all honesty, uh, Scorpio, this person, you know, uh, I feel like um, got scared of your connection. I feel like that they do love you, that they do want to have success with you. And they may be already back in your life or they're coming back. They're going to message you. You're going to hear from this person. They will eventually open up their feelings for you, Scorpio. Um, but I feel like they're, they're bound to something, a contract or, or a person. 
um, you know, and they're trying to find their strength and, and courage, you know, within this relationship here. All right, because I think they do have some sort of success in the relationship, okay? But I feel like the success is more comfort than than love, but they're trying. I feel like they, they were trying, okay? Mm. Mm. They're contracted to somebody, marriage contract or something like that. They're contracted to somebody, um, you know, and they were hoping to have a passionate new beginning with this person. They tried to put in the effort. They, you know, maybe went on a journey with this person, you know, um, put, paid a lot of attention to this person and the family and had a lot of people around them and um, I feel like that they, even if they wanted to come towards you, there was there was a lot of blockages. So, you know, you just went on your own journey, uh, Scorpio. I kind of feel like, you know, in the past, you know, you reminisce actually regarding the past or regarding the pain that, that you had to go through. There was a third party. There was somebody else, Scorpio. Okay, they had their eye on somebody else. Oh. Mm. You felt like this person stopped putting in the hard work and effort with you and they were giving an equal give and take to somebody else. They may have been gone from your life for a period of time or there was a lack of communication. Um, you know, but you're very balanced right now, Scorpio. You are very balanced right now. And I kind of feel that you may have gone through some sort of a, a, an awakening. Okay. And I do feel that you are dealing with a twin flame. Somebody from your past. Somebody that you know that you can have success with. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You're dealing with a twin flame, Scorpio. You know, for those of you that don't understand the twin flame journey, you will find that um, you have a great passionate and desire and connection with somebody. All right. Now, usually with uh, twin flames, there is that uh, one of you or both of you could be on a spiritual journey. All right. So once you started this spiritual journey, it drew this person back into your life. All right. And you may have awakened them with some things. But the truth is that you and this person are mirrored images of yourself, okay? So I can't, you know, with the twin flame journey is that this person will always be in and out of your, your life. There'll always be one runner and one chaser. And the chaser is usually the one that's more awakened and more spiritual and understands the journey and is willing to fight for it. And the chaser is the one that has to... Um, deal with um, going through awakenings, going through dealing with things that they have avoided, okay? And until you both become aligned with each other, um, then the journey just continues like that, okay? There will always be other people that come in between you. There will always be um, interferences, um, people enticing you or enticing them. It's always going to be there until you both come aligned and become one. Okay? So, you know, a lot of you are like, oh, I don't want this person back in my life. But if they keep returning in and out, as long as it's not an abusive situation, you know, then there is some sort of connection there that, or, you know, business that is supposed to take place between you and this person. All right. Now, I do feel that, you know, one of you is more awakened than the other, or you're both now almost aligned. You're almost aligned, which is causing this person to put a lot of thoughts in the direction that they want to go. And it is causing you also to say, well, I'm accepting this journey now. They come back, they come back, they don't come back. Um, but it doesn't stop you from meeting other people because life continues. It's just that they will always come back until you and this person are both aligned and the universe says, right, they're both aligned. Now they can be together. 
okay? Because there'll be no more interference after that. There'll be no more people that are going to entice them, all right? So I do feel there is a situation that is going to move on to Karma Waters. We've got the King of Cups here, Scorpio. We've got the Nine of Cups, okay? We've got success. This person is protecting you, Scorpio. They're protecting you from something, okay? So we have moving on to Karma Waters. We've got um, success, you know, and... Um, happiness here and we have a wish fulfillment two wish fulfillments in a row this person is protecting you scorpio you may not feel like they are but they are they're protecting you from something okay so this person will eventually come back and give you an offer okay it's been a long journey we've got the king of wands under the king of cups and you know i feel like you and this person have a lot of passion between yous and, and a chemistry between yous and but the opportunity has never been there to fulfill the relationship okay because there's always been betrayal there's always been a third party you know but moving forward scorpio um there is a change that is coming in somebody is turning uh you know waiting for their ships to come in i'm gonna say okay doing a lot of thinking doing a lot of procrastination um you know they're thinking of the queen of of cups and they're coming in to make some sort of an offer somebody's going to take a leap of faith they see you as the wish fulfillment they've been at a crossroad but they desire you so badly okay and you desire them so badly so there's a message coming in to the empress here all right um, yeah, when I said this person may be contracted, they're contracted to somebody, a marriage, okay? Something that is going through a lot of, um, yeah, unhappy moments right now, okay? Uh, but, you know, I feel Scorpio, you're the one that's uh, got the high intuition, okay? And yes, there's always been conflict. There's always been interference of people not being on the same page or too many people involved in this situation. But I do feel that there's a message coming in regarding, uh, you know, some choices here that has to be made. So stay in your Empress um, energy, Scorpio, and, you know, use your wisdom. Be, be logical, be passionate, be be emotional and, and be creative, but, you know, focus here, Scorpio, because it's not always about the sex, Scorpio, okay? <laughs> you know, you have no problem in that area with this person, but there's other things that come into play now, all right? Home, stability, finances, you know, that's all going to come into play now, and I, th I feel like your focus is on finances right now, all right? And you do have a, um, a, you know, some money that is coming your way uh, unexpectedly, okay? Something that's been delayed, but it, it is coming, okay? And this is something that's been bothering you too, okay? Now, this person is very much in their head regarding having to end something and start a new beginning, okay? They are keeping their feelings and secrets to themselves, Scorpio, but there's a cycle that is coming to an end, a new beginning that is going to start, and this person is going to, you know, heal this situation between the two of you and finally give you an offer, all right? Now, I do feel, and I don't know why, I feel like I'm missing some cards here, okay? But they keep coming to my mind, so... And I didn't see them when I pulled them out. But I'm feeling like there is three women involved here. And those three women may be connected to each other. Okay? They may be sisters. They may be daughter, sister, mother. Whatever it is. These three women, okay, they're up to something when it comes to this person. Okay? Um, I, I feel like they're up to something when it comes to this person. So this person is trying to play their cards right, okay? They're making sure that, um, that you are protected, 
that that's what I feel. They're making sure that you're protected from these three women. Now, whether they're connected to each other or not, there is three women besides you, Scorpio. Okay? So, you know, there is going to be quite a battle. But I do feel that this person should tell you. They really should tell you because, you know, you're very aware that something is going on. You, you are. You're very aware that there is something going on in the background. Okay. Um, you're playing along right now. You are playing along, along right now. And I can tell you that the woman that they're connected with, who is playing the sweet, vulnerable person. Okay. When this person, this woman loses her shit, she's dangerous. And yet this man does not know yet, doesn't realize how dangerous she is. And I feel like that there's a sense of they're scared that this woman can ruin their reputation, that this woman can make them suffer job loss, okay? And I feel like this person has suffered a bit of job loss, okay? Um, and every time they take steps forward, that they start to, you know, build up their finances again, they take 20 steps back. And they take 20 steps back because these three women are doing something, okay? Now, there are women out there that, that have been known to put things into people's food or drink, like spells, things like that, okay? And then the person that they're with becomes confused. They want to go, but I love them. I want to go, but I love you. I want to go, but I love you. So every time you feel like you want to go, all of a sudden you don't go and there's a reason why you don't go. Okay? So whoever this person is should stop eating out of this person's hand. Okay? Should stop drinking out of this person's hand. And I feel like sometimes even if you go out, you go to a restaurant, you may go to the toilet, you come back, you, you have your meal and then you've changed again. You need to work out why you're going through all these changes, right? But I feel that you have a love, a lot of love and a desire for your twin flame. And it's something that, you know, you know and this other person knows that, you know, the connection could be so good with you, but they're being enticed somewhere else. They are. And now there's another woman who's coming to the picture. She could be a Pisces. She could be a, a, an Earth sign. Mm. Sagittarius. And now this woman is enticing them with money, with, with a plan. And a plan, honestly, that I don't see... I don't see the success, okay? Um... In, in what this woman is planning, but I feel like your twin flame will make it successful and realize that this person um, was playing games with them also, okay? So, you know, same shit, different bucket, okay? Eventually, they come to you. They will come to you. Eventually, they will come towards you, all right? And when they come towards you, I feel like that that's it. There'll be nothing else. This person has learned the lesson. This person has realized who you are. This person cannot get in, you two can't, cannot get enough of each other. So um, I hope you two have jobs because you'll never leave the bedroom. Never. It's whenever you can, anywhere you can. <laughs> it's, it's so, um, I don't know. It's making me feel funny, but <laughs> but the connection is you can't get enough of each other. So I kind of feel like your twin is a little bit scared, but they are going through an awakening. They are going through a dark night of the soul. They've got a lot going on in their thoughts that they can't talk to you about. But just be there for this person. Just be there, okay? I feel like you always have anyway. So, you know, no matter how many times you guys, you know, split up or people come in between you, okay, you may, 
go off and have relationships with somebody else or you meet somebody else or you start dating and you know I feel like for Scorpio it's like I'm, I'm done I've had enough you know um just want to be me I just want to be happy I just want to be you know focused on my success and my stability yes I have a desire for this person but um you know I don't want to waste my life either you know waiting for an opportunity when you know let's just say Scorpio that you see your self-worth okay you know what you can put into in a into a relationship you know you may be the awakened one that keeps you know teaching this person a lesson um and you know every lesson they've had to deal with it because it's a well-known fact that if Scorpio comes into your life you should expect changes you should expect a wake-up call okay Scorpio is death and transformation so not with everybody you're going to have a connection Scorpio but you're there for a reason and when that reason is over the season is over you will explode it and you'll walk away okay this is not over this is just beginning there's a new cycle there's there's healing there's a new beginning there's movement forward and somebody who is willing to take a leap of faith towards you now Scorpio so the twin flame journey is not easy and strong are those that are able to you know um battle it out because you know if you don't come together in this cycle <laughs> believe me you know you'll come together in in another cycle okay just it's a continuous journey until both of you are awake to the connection. But once you're both awake, wow, wow, wow. Okay. It's beautiful. But until then, stay strong, Scorpio. Um, you know, you can do this. You can you can do this. Just stay strong. Okay. All right, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.